Hi guys, welcome back to Enigma Review. So today we're going to be doing a collective haul of what I would class as beauty health related. I have to say health because there is one thing in here that's health related. I ain't gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna keep you for too long so I'm just gonna get straight into it. Right, first things first. So I've recently started collecting a certain perfume collection. I'm started collecting Vera Wang, not the the other edition, the Love Struck edition, but the Princess edition. Now I didn't realise that this has been going on since 2012, long time, and I never noticed these perfumes ever. So for me to catch on at 2019, because that's when I first started buying them, I'm way way behind, and unfortunately, because I didn't catch on to them at the beginning. There is seven others or six others that I can't get my hands on. So I'm a little bit gutted about that. If I start collecting something, I need the whole collection. And sometimes that's not possible, but let's get into it. So I started by buying this one. So this was my first Vera Wang and it's the Rock Princess. Comes with the little crown and a little ring. So this is like a little pewter ring. I don't know if you can actually wear them rings on your fingers. You'd have to have really tiny fingers, I suppose. It literally fits my little finger. But I love the design of these bottles. This is my favourite perfume from Vera Wang, like this scent. Um, and I have started buying more. And this is where we're going to go to today. So this was really inexpensive. I featured this maybe two years ago. It might have been two years ago. Yeah, two years ago I featured this. Um, and as you can see, I have used a fair bit of it. Totally inexpensive, this, guys. Now, you think you buy it for £15, £16. Pound. And then for my birthday just gone, I picked up the Princess Vera Wang. Let me just take it out of the box because it'll be going back on my unit. I will put a picture up of what they look like together because you can see how pretty they look. So this one is the Vera Wang Princess. Again, same shape bottle. Completely different colour, different design, silver crown, silver ring. Um, this one is definitely a floral, guys, as this one's more, I'd say more of a, it's got a lot of musk in this one, but a lot of sweetness. So a musky sweet scent, as this is completely floral, like utterly floral, everything about it. I think in this I can I can smell a little bit of rose and I can smell a little bit of lily in it, but I could be wrong because I have no idea what the top notes or the base notes are. I just know from what I can smell. So that is that. So these are the two that I had and then I was like, I wonder if there's any more in these bottles because I really do like the bottles. Well then off went Rachel. She went off on a little tangent, didn't she? Boom, boom, boom. And then she went to this one. And this one and this one and I've got another one on the way which is Noir which is the most recent one I ain't gonna miss out on that one so with that said there is a lot more of them that I can't get my hands on there is um the black princess and pink princess with their glittery bottles there is the revolution which is a red bottle there is a love heart bottle in red um which is that's one, two, three, four, uh, five. And I think there's another one that I can't get my hands on. Yeah, there's another one. I can't remember what that one's called, indie one. I think there's six that I can't get my hands on, guys. But if you can find them, I'll put, I'll put pictures up here so you get to see what the full collection looks like. I haven't got the full collection. Anybody who's got the full collection, have used it and don't want the perfume bottles, hit me up. I'll have the perfume bottles. I'm not bothered about the perfume, I just want the bottles. <laughs> you call me weird, but you know, it's <laughs> just like the bottles. I could fill it up with my own perfumes. I just want the bottles. So these are the boxes. I do have the Rock Princess box, which is in the back of the wardrobe and I can't get to it. So this is the Rock Princess. This one I know was the first one that came out. Very first one. So this is the oldest one of the lot. Now this one does have a scent of vanilla and chocolate in there and a little bit of floral. It's very unusual, this scent. I like this. I do like this scent, I will admit. Mm. Very chocolatey. The first thing you smell is dark chocolate and a whiff of vanilla. It's very, very nice. It's very, mm, 
very yummy but as you can see i have only just bought that so i've not dived into it yet but i like the bottles are very confusing because when i seen that i was like it looks the same as that but it's got gold on the lid and you do get a little bit confused sometimes by these um but i really want the red ones so badly and the black one but now i've got the noir i'm not too bothered that about having a black bottle because i know i've got the rock princess but yeah i just like to have a full set and not having a full set bums me out a little bit so this one is the glam princess this one again has a lot of like chocolatey like a vanilla frosting scent in this but you can also smell the lily i can smell lily in this the top notes uh, i think they all reasonably smell nice like there's none that i've smelt so far and i've gone oh god no that's horrible they're all really nice pleasant scents not too strong the only will the only one thing i will say about these is they don't last the scent does not last like for example my jean paul gaultier or my um dolce and gabbana when i use them and my um oh what's it called jimmy Choo fever all them three have got a, a an instinctive musk scent to it that lingers for hours and maybe the next day you can still smell it on your clothing not so much with these ones but i found that with certain perfumes like the exclamation mark certain perfumes that are under a certain uh price bracket they'll last for a few hours but not like all night so you're continually spraying this is the one that just arrived this arrived two days ago um i was lucky to find this one i got this from the fragrance.com fragrance.com i can't remember which one it was all together with this and the other things i'm going to be showing you i think my order in total came to 26 27 pound or something and i got free delivery because of that so this is the preppy princess i'm not too sure what this one is because i haven't actually smelt it yet um they were all wrapped in the cellophane let me just spray that Woo! okay this is like a semi-floral this one actually smells more um musky floral musk i think i could smell a bit of lily in that hmm I'm not sure citrus there's a citrus scent to that it's nice it's pleasant i like it i just wish that the the scent lingered a bit longer right so because i ordered from the fragrance company i actually also ordered these which i thought were big ones guys so when they arrived i was like why why do we always order things and not check what size they are i do it every time but these are quite neat to get under your eyebrow or under your eyes you know you're not using that big big sponge so i thought for the price they were all right mini makeup sponges i think there was something like one pound fifty something like that completely inexpensive and i like the shape of them as well guys and then i got some lashes guys so i got these technic lashes which are the natural lashes i've had these before and they are really really nice these are the natural ones i got two of the same uh, it does say that these are vegan as well guys but i just thought i'm wearing lashes if you've not told already i've mastered it i've conquered my phobia if you want a tuition on how i do it which is probably not anywhere near like everybody else does i don't mess about with them tweezy things even though i have got them i just find that they're more harder to put on i just use my fingers drop it down press in bend it use the mascara thing yeah if you want a tuition let me know i don't normally do things like that on my channel anymore but yeah there is a beauty um video already up there and it's the laura geller if you do want to go and check that out i would really appreciate it not many people have viewed it and i wonder why i know i look scary at the beginning but damn go and watch it after this guys i'll put it pop it up here so you get to watch it you can click on it afterwards then i picked these up while i was out at home bargains and i grabbed a fair few things i'm not going to put them in this video it's too much but i grabbed these just as an extra so these are the um is it i don't know where's my glasses i can't read that small print that is not happening katie hayes but it says holly on there so 
God knows. But they had a whole collection of stuff in this brand. So it was in home bargain. So I have no idea who that is or what. But I like the lashes. They look really, really pretty. Can you see them? So they were 149 So I got them. So that was what I got from the fragrance. Now, moving on. Simply B. Because I said I had more things from Simply B. In my last order, I ordered these Isla's. And now, I've had Isla London before. I won two packs on... Um, Oh, what was it called? Something Geek. I, I can't remember because I don't go on it anymore. Um, but I, I won the reviewer of the week or whatever. And I won two boxes of self-adhesive eyelashes, Eyelo. Because I was scared of using eyelashes and I wasn't really bothered about them, I actually gave them both to my youngest daughter in her Christmas box. They were brand new, sealed, never used. And they're not cheap, Eyelo. I think these were five pounds something as you can see you get an eyelash that you can practice with which i think is really really good two glues and you get one of them tweezer things that i was just on about and then it tells you on the back how to apply them and so forth guys if you're like me and you've been scared of eyelashes try it try it don't let it beat you because i was like that and i did it the other day when i did the laura geller makeup look and i was like yes i'm still perfecting it i still need to learn where to stick them exactly because sometimes they're touching here and i don't like that i had to keep moving them but yeah i do want some duo glue as well so i got that and then i got this which was the hair burst for stronger hair and longer hair i've already used this this is the proof of the product i've used it my hair was washed what day are we on now guys we're on friday tuesday so tuesday wednesday thursday friday so this is three days on three nights of sleeping in it and as you can see my hair still looks beautiful i did use the beauty works argan oil and the spray as well guys so yeah really really good but they're only 350 ml guys they do the vitamins in this they do the heat spray in this they do um, a growth spray in this but this is the size of the bottle i hide this away from Zach because Zach has used most of my Osmo shampoo and conditioner and you know they're not cheap either so I'm hiding these in my cupboard for me so I can use them Zach doesn't need it his hair grows beautifully mine doesn't so so far so good I will check this because my daughter has been having a few issues with certain shampoos and conditioners that have a certain ingredient in and it's burning her scalp and it may explain to me because i've been using the andrew barton now when i used that i ended up with real bad burns and cuts like burns in my head like scabs and i do think there is something in this but i cannot read that at all what i might have to do is get my husband to read i think that i think it's that one there holly something I can't remember, but there is something in one of the shampoos and conditioners that my daughter's allergic to. It says this, holds in moisture, hair strengthening, pro-vitamin B5, vitamin E, reduces breakage, colour protection, soothing and calming for skin and scalp. Contains two 350ml bottles. I'm not sure if it's vegan. I think it is because I know that Aisha, the Moon and Stars, has tried the vitamins of this, so... Yeah, this was £25, guys. So, yeah, very expensive for what it is. Will I buy them again? No, I won't. I just wanted to treat my hair this time. I won't buy them again, guys. Not at that price. I can buy a 1000 mil of the Osmo sets, which I get from Just My Look, for £14.95. That's two bottles of £14.95, 1000 mil. This is two bottles of 350 mil. This, the two bottles doesn't even equal to one bottle. So you see where I'm going? And it's 25 quid. For the price I could have bought, yeah, crazy. But I was treating my hair. I had my hair done by a hairdresser. I paid 30 pounds for my hair to be done. I bought the Beauty Works. So my hair has cost nearly, nearly about 70, 80 quid to get done. But it's worth it. And it's done now for the next six, seven months. Right, moving on. I also ordered this again so this is the second time i have purchased this guys i did purchase it once before and it was a bit of a disaster it was broken never mind this time it came 
whole. So I will not be doing a makeup look of this. I don't see the point in me doing any makeup look if nobody's watching. So I'm sorry guys. I know there is an odd one or two who would love to see me putting makeup on my channel. They're just not getting the views anymore guys. So I'm just not going to, I'm not going to put myself through that pain of sitting there for an hour and a half doing a full face for nothing. So as you can see, I have swatched these already because I did try and do this video once before. But I didn't like it. So here we are again. The troubles of being a um, blogger. So I've tried these. Well, I'm going to try something different because of, from what I can see, they are really nice. Now, I did swatch this one. It's very soft and smooth. The texture of this is really nice. And as you can see, um, let's just... So... I haven't, I haven't really dug my finger in there, guys, so I don't want to swatch them too much. And here's another blue. Oh, it's more of a petrol colour, that, guys. Let's go for a... Let's go for this colour, because this one looks nice. Yeah, like a peachy pink colour, not usually my type of colour. But that is banging. That is really nice. Oh, wow. Now, now I really don't know where to go now I've done that one. Um... I might as well just have a good old... Did I just do this one? I think I've just done the same one twice. <laughs> right, let's try a different one. Let's try this pinky one. Yeah, look at that one. That was nice. Put that one there. Oh, that one's so bright. So here is just a rough look. Now, this is the Laura Geller palette. I've already tested Laura Geller and it passed my test. 100 times over amazing i do want to try the mascara next the um concealer next the highlighter next the eyeliner i'm going to try it all and then i'm going to do a full face of laura geller just for me <laughs> i'll say i'm not going to do it on my channel there's no point nobody watches it but there you go that's the swatches and i didn't even press on there guys i literally just and as you can see it doesn't stain your skin it just flows off really good now when i first bought this it was very expensive i think it was around 40 pound obviously i got my money back although it did get lost in the hermes transit i didn't care i showed them the proof that it got sent back got my money back it was cheaper here i got it from simply b and it came to 35 pound i think or it might have been 30 on deal and it says 31 bit eyeshadows so that's that guys i am now on a palette bam <laughs> bam no more palettes now for a while guys i have got so many new palettes i've not even tested yet there is one palette i really want and it's the um oh what's it called can't think where i got my lipsticks from beauty jolly beauty jolly beauty that's it jolly beauty i do want her palette but it's not come out yet so when it comes out it's on pre-order i think but i might i might just get it near the time and then i've got it moving on guys i also bought these so i've recently now i loved my hair when i took the plaits out and i was like oh crimped hair back in the 80s so i thought i used to own a pair of massive crimpers though not like they are today they were massive i used to own a big white pair and i loved them so I thought, I'm going to do this. So I was I was in between getting either one of them curls where you pop your hair in. I do want one of them. I'll get one eventually. But I thought, no, let's try the crimpers first because it looks really good. So I bought these Babyliss and it says, fast results, 210 degrees, defined styling, tournament ceramic crimping plates and heat control. Um, and it says... 210 degrees and it's long lasting texture my hair felt so amazing i'll stick some pictures up here guys so you can see what my hair looks like crimped it was a little bit longer then guys i crimped it before i had my hair cut and then obviously i washed it on the day that i'd, I'd crimped it the day before so they're very compact they're quite small and petite easy to grab but they don't sit very well on the side they always tip to the side and i don't like don't like leaving it on my glass in case it gets hot and breaks my glass but it has a on and off or you can press together and it'll do when it gets too hot it'll turn itself off kind of thing got purple plates inside literally guys you don't have to keep your hair in the plate just three 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 a little bit longer than that probably about three minutes leave it in and then move down and then do that 
lovely amazing really really good um i don't normally buy fabulous items i did have a fabulous hair dryer it didn't really i didn't really rate it too much at the minute i've got the she if you do remember i got pr a couple of years back from she i've had the straighteners for eight years i still have them and i've just purchased an 80 pound pair for my daughter because it's her 18th birthday and that's what she wanted so yeah so i recommend them as well last but not least I have got hypertension. It keeps coming up and going down. And I've got a tachycardia heart. I'm on beta blockers for it. Stress and anxiety makes my heart go crazy. When I'm feeling very ill, my heart just goes nuts. So I decided, because the doctor said that I had high blood sugar and at risk of diabetes, and also my heart rate was too fast, did I have a... Um, Blood pressure monitor at home if i didn't it may be wise to get one so you could check because obviously it's something important they also tell you to jot it down so i've got a little book that i'll write it down so i can see now i've done it today for the first time i did it this morning you're supposed to do it every day at the same time in the morning and at night i'm going to do it in about an hour's time so when i did it today my pulse was at 82 my heart rate was 147 over 85 not normal but i didn't think it'd be normal so it was heading to um the yellow one which i've wrote it all down and what have you um also because i keep having my heart going up to hypertension i checked ben's and ben's was scarily high <laughs> He was hypertension, but my husband's going through a lot of stress at the minute. And he said he is probably down to stress. Now, I'm just going to give you a quick example of what you do. So he just sits on the, on the front of your wrist here, not on the back. And then you just close it up. Make sure it's not too tight because, as you know, it goes tight anyway. There you go. And then you turn it on. It'll find your pulse. Like so. When it's found your pulse, you press M and they tell you to rest your arm flat. Don't leave it in the air, rest it flat so the blood, the blood can flow properly. And then it will um, monitor your pulse, your heart rate, your blood pressure, your beats per minute and so forth. Because I've got a tachycardia heart, I usually, my heart beats quite fast, but it is what it is, isn't it? I can't do anything about it. So sometimes it takes ages for them to clock my blood pressure. Um, sometimes at the hospital, they do my blood pressure two or three times because they sometimes think, oh, this isn't normal. I don't think I've had a normal blood pressure reading for the past three years, guys, maybe a bit longer. And I don't know if it's because the medication I'm on. I don't know. It's having difficulties to find. Okay 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 let's have a look what it says so it gives you a reading so mine says 114 over 82 so that's coming up as normal so can you see the difference this morning i was at yellow and then ben was on orange and then obviously right at the top is dangerously high hypertension so that is it guys i will check it tonight because when you're at your most relaxed i think that's when your blood you can t do your blood pressure my mom does her blood pressure every single night because my mom has heart high blood pressure um this was um how much was it it was 23.99 guys um you can find it on argos you can find it on amazon you can find it on studio catalogs there's so many places can't get it to bloody close so many places that they actually do this um there you go and it comes with all full instructions guys so you can see what the instructions are um and it's called beer beer medical and it just says blood pressure monitor um and the risk indicator also tells you if it's dangerously high or low or so forth really good for 23 pounds i'm happy with that i'm trying to get a certain things i want to get um one where i can check my blood sugar so i'm going to be buying that next um as you know i'm dis i'm disabled so i am classed clinically as disabled now i have my blue badge um i have my house has been modified to help me until i move to my own um 
and I've got a fold away scooter being sorted out for me so I can go on long journeys and not have to worry about not being able to get on the bus because my scooter is too big so yeah will I do that in a video maybe we'll see all right guys take care of yourself pop your comments on below what did you think of these perfumes or what did you think of the products I mean I personally out of all of this my favorite will have to be the creepers I absolutely love them they're brilliant um I might I might do Zach's hair no no I won't do Zach's hair because I don't I don't really want to introduce Zach into heat damage like mine because that's what kills your hair the most anyway with that said guys if you've got any comments pop them below if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you don't like this video give it a thumbs down but feel free to pop a comment down below what it is you don't like so I can improve for the next one it might be a product you've tried and you didn't like it. I can't say anything wrong with anything. All right, guys, take care of yourself and see you in the next one. Bye for now. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and hit that like button if you like this video, because it helps me out and my channel. Take care, guys, and I'll see you on my next one. Bye for now.